My name is Marianne and this is the costume dyeing and painting department where most things that you see on stage have come through. So we deal with dyeing the fabrics, we do a gorgeous line in fake blood, all different varieties. I've got some silk here, so what I'm going to do is wash it in a little bit of detergent just to take the finish off. Right, so that will make it more absorbent to the dyes. I've got some dyes mixed up already here, um, but I'm going to mix one more, which is scarlet. So every time we mix a dye, we do a uniform amount. We do one spoonful. So we all know the strength of the dye that's been mixed. So to begin with, I'll just put a splash of red. And it's got a sort of brownie look to it, that colour. So this process will get repeated over and over until the colour's perfect. So the whole idea is to get a perfect match. That starter, that's on its way. So as you can see, there's quite a way to go. So here we are. Um, about an hour later and I've repeated the process that you watched earlier and I've now got the perfect match. This is the original and this is the one I've just done. So now we're ready to move on to the next stage. I'm going to show you the process we used for applying the ink stains and the dribbles on Donna Anna's dress. This is the original dress. Um, parts of the dress was um, digitally printed and then the dress was made up and then brought back up here and then we had to paint into areas to tie it all in together. Well, if you look at the original designs, it looks like the ink has been poured over the whole dress. However, there's no control in that if we did that. So everything had to be hand painted and controlled and the designer was very specific about which areas needed to be streaky and dribbly and then areas to be left plain. So I start off with a solid black area. The key is to keep it very clean and not messy because it's a very dramatic look and very linear at the same time. So we just let it naturally dribble and then just keep guiding it because then it tends to bleed. So now we get the hairdryer to speed up some of the dribbles and also to stop it bleeding. So as you can see, this is the end result of the demonstration, but the final dress ends up looking like this. And it's amazing to see uh, a two-dimensional design come to life in a 3D costume. So it's um, very painstaking, but all very worthwhile in the end.